Well, hello, good people. Today, we're going to take a look at creating templates in Prompt Hunt. Now, if you haven't heard about Prompt Hunt yet, make sure to check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, there's a couple ways where you can approach creating templates, what used to be called themes. So first, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create button. And on the left here, you see that there's a whole bunch of themes that the community made. And I happen to create this one called Symbiotic Heroes. And basically this theme has sort of an anime CG sort of look. So if I were to put in here, female samurai warrior, right? You'll see the template is loaded here already. And it has all these styles attached to it. I'm going to go ahead and click create. This particular template has sort of a Venom symbiote look to the character. So the first way to develop your template is based on, let's say, a favorite prompt that you have that has a certain look. I'm going to paste the prompt that I used. We're going to go ahead and click Create. This dialog box will pop up, and then it's going to ask for what the subject is. We're going to click on Dark Angel Woman, Mark as Subject. What happens is that it'll take all the keywords that you used and place them on the side here as styles. So here are the images generated, but you can also tweak what's on the left here. Let me run through how this works. The first thing is you can change the order of these words. So you can just drag it up and down this way. So as you hover over it, you'll see these three lines here. That's how you can rearrange it. And then it has some strength here. So if you wanted to increase the weight of the word or decrease it, you can change it here fairly easily. Another thing you might consider doing is removing some of these words as your prompts. And you might want to add it to the actual prompt here instead. For example, if you had city at night in the background, you may not want that in the template just because, you know, other people are going to use it. So to do that, you just simply have to click on the minus sign here and it'll remove that style from the template. Or if you want to kind of mess around with settings and see how they affect your image, you could simply click on the eye icon here and temporarily hide it. So if I were to hide dramatic there, you see that the eye is closed and it gets grayed out. Now, the way this works is that instead of typing in this whole gigantic prompt, we can simply just put in our subject matter here. So let's say I do uh, Warframe Ninja. You see that here it's applied all the styles that I have here on the left already. And you see how it adopts this symbiotic look to the images, right? Once you're happy with the look of your template, you can save it here. Click Save as Template. Give it a name. Now I'm going to call this Symbiote Copy because I already have this template. And then you can pick a category. For this one, I'll put Character Design. And I'm going to make this private because I don't want to publicly publish this just yet. So we're going to click on Save. And then at the top left here, again, under Templates, click on this drop down, and you're going to see an option for Mine. You see I have my template here already and here's the copy. On the right of this area here you have your settings. So let's click that and then you'll see this settings option. So there's some options here you can fill in for information. You have your service model. You can pick the specific model that you use to use for this template. You have your category here. Now to put an image as a thumbnail, you simply just have to select upload a file or post an image link. So if I were to click on here and let's say I choose this image just for show, that will become the templates thumbnail. And alternatively, if you want to add some samples, you can click on here. Then you can select any of the images here to be in that section. You can put in some information here in this dialog box and you have a delete option at the bottom should you not want to keep this template. Once you're happy with the template, go ahead and click publish if you want the community to use it and you're pretty much good to go. The other way you could create templates from scratch is by starting with the styles and searching for them. This is particularly good for those of you that are new to prompting. For example, let's say you want to create a style for portraits. If you enter portraits, 
you'll get a list of styles regarding portraits. I can add portrait photograph. Perhaps I want to search for photography terms. So I'll type in photography. Maybe the look I'm going for is film photography. I can click on that. Now if I think of lighting, there's various lighting things I can add. Ambient lighting perhaps. Bright diffuse lighting is a good one. Perhaps we also want to use like an embedding, which is sort of like a model, but more of a extension or a plugin of a model. And if you search for analog style, for example, this is great for portrait photography. So that could sort of be like your basis for this particular template. And then we would do the same process by saving as template. Let's just test it out. There's only seven styles. We'll use the chroma to model and then we're going to go ahead and create. So there you go. It's almost getting to photorealistic. I would probably put in some negative prompts to counteract the slightly CG 3D look, but we're getting there. So I could continue to add to this style, take things away, add things to it. And I would just again, go to save as template and save it so that I can use it for later. And then the last way where you can create your own templates is to grab an existing one. Let's say we use this Chrome Cinema one. This is a fantastic template, by the way. We could look at all the styles that were used here and mimic this and take things out, add things in and kind of mold it into our own type of template that we can use. In the meantime, if you want to watch the overview I did of Prompt Hunt, make sure to check it out there. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.